Traditional psychology is limited to a very superficial Newtonian view of life and us, which has been proven scientifically to be wrong, definitively. Modern science has actually proven many of the tenets of spirituality. So what I do is actually using the remerged principles of science and spirituality, the spirit science, if you will, of how this world really works, who we really are, and our belief systems and how they work to be able to help people change their minds, change their thoughts and emotions and how they work, which then of course, is the foundation of action, so their actions change. And then, of course, different actions create different results. And so, therefore, we address the cause and effect, the mind over matter of life, which changes everything. So what we're really dealing with here, to to use an analogy that it's easier to understand, is we address the core level. If we use the analogy of a house, this would be the foundation of the house. The concrete, the wooden supports for the house, the structure itself, the basic supports of the structure. The problem with most people's lives is they are based on a core foundation, a philosophy, a perspective on life. And the basic parts of this perspective on life are our view of the world around us, reality, our view of ourselves and our view of other people, and the relationships between all of those, our relationship to the world, our relationship to other people, other people's relationship to us, our relationship with all of them together. In various different levels, community, local community, state, city, country, international, global relationships. All these different levels and all these different facets. Our personal life, our professional life, um, our religious life, our political life, our spiritual life. We have all of these different compartments that we've artificially created in our minds, which are not actually even real. And we have all these beliefs about all of those, which have seriously clouded and overcomplicated the issues. And in order to resolve that, what we have to do is we have to go back in past the superficial symptoms, the apparent problems, and actually go to the root cause, which is the foundational beliefs on which we live our life. So again, using the house analogy, we go back through to the foundation and we reevaluate, reassess whether the foundational beliefs of this house, the foundational supports are actually solid, built on solid ground and not sinking sand to use a Christian analogy. And we do that based on the facts of the matter, what we know of how things actually work and how things really are, correcting the ignorant assumptions, theories, and misconceptions on which most people live because of their lack of education and the fact that most people simply adopt the beliefs of other people around them without actual factual evidence. People take advice from their friends and family when often those friends and family are not educated in the subject matter and have adopted theories and superstitions which are not accurate. And so we have a whole bunch of inaccurate beliefs kept clouding our minds and that's why we often feel conflicted. We have conflicts between head and heart, emotion and logic, and we also have conflict between those two, and the soul. And then we have the conflict between different theories that we've heard that we don't know 
which one is valid and which and therefore which one to listen to and so we have a confused mess in our heads and what we have to do is go through and clear sort that mess reevaluate these conflicts and sort out fact from fiction what's true and what's not what was ignorant theory that somebody said to somebody else and just spread and spread to us through our social interactions as children as well as adults and what are the principles which have been proven by actual life experience to not only be true but be the most beneficial this is where we get into not only beliefs but habits tools systems we get into some of the both the principles involved and the application of those principles to use common personal development analogy of chopping wood or cutting wood i should say you can use a hatchet you can use an axe you can use a saw a manual saw you can use an electrical saw and we use these different tools as analogies for different levels of understanding and information the hatchet of course is inefficient and ineffective it is extremely slow when you're trying to cut down a tree not really that appropriate but people who have only a vague understanding of life that's how they go about life they don't really know what they're doing and so what they're doing doesn't work very well and the more knowledge and really wisdom you have which is a knowledge uh, proven through experience which is how you sort fact from fiction is by testing it through your own experience you get to the principles that really work and the ways that work best and you learn how to use an axe a hand saw or an electrical saw accordingly and your ability to perform these different tasks and accomplish your goals improves based on the level of knowledge and understanding you have the wisdom that you've gathered from those with actual personal experience cuz not only are we dealing with beliefs here but we're dealing with systems and technologies and techniques we're dealing with habits and a lot of these we know we have adopted which are incorrect we no- all know that we've adopted bad habits we have conflicted thinking and so in order to resolve these matters and learn to live a less conflicted more peaceful and more powerful efficient life and learn to accomplish our goals faster and easier we have to sort all of this mess that we've picked up from everybody else around us find out what's really true and what are the best most powerful beliefs and methods and techniques and systems and tools to be able to get the job done whatever that job may be whatever goal you're trying to accomplish and so first in training we go back through and, and fill in the gaps the missing understandings that people have but in the process we're also giving facts by which people can check their beliefs and see what's really true in the coaching we teach you to apply that and really get into a deeper level of reevaluation and sorting of these different conflicted ideas and techniques and learn how to apply the principles from the classes in everyday life and teach you how to put them together in combinations which give you the techniques, systems, tools and technologies necessary to do things the smart way rather than the hard way. A lot of people believe that you have to do hard work. But that's actually not the case. You can have a really hard time chopping down a tree with a hatchet and Some people may think that's admirable because you put in a lot of work, but I would prefer not to work hard. I would prefer to work smart. Use the latest and greatest tools and technologies and principles 
to do things quickly and easily with the least amount of effort and time put in so I can spend more time with the people that I love and doing things that I enjoy and have accomplished more in those short amounts of time so I can actually accomplish my goals faster and easier. That is the way I have learned to live. In the financial arena, these these concepts are, are taught and easily understood by the books Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You have the Poor Dad's philosophy, which doesn't work very well and isn't very understanding and efficient and powerful. And then you have the Rich Dad, who's actually bothered to learn how the world really works and the most powerful techniques and principles and systems by which you accomplish making money. And therefore, he experiences much more success because he's working smart instead of working hard. Well, we have this problem in every area of life. And so, by studying life and learning from the wise ones who have developed the most successful tools and systems and philosophies, you can then gain the most powerful and most efficient means by which the the knowledge of the most powerful and efficient means of actually accomplishing your goals and creating the life that you want. And I have spent my life doing that, learning from others who have spent their lives doing that, and so I have gathered a lot of the little-known keys to success in every area of life and developed the curriculum and the coaching systems based on that. But we accomplish this change in learning by going through and sorting and clarifying and rebuilding as necessary the old and rotting foundation of, of techniques and technologies and thoughts that really don't work or don't work anymore, are outdated. And we update our knowledge with wisdom of experience and the technique and technology of experience so that we are using the best, most accurate information and habits and techniques to create our life quickly, easily, and powerfully. And that's what the science of quantum empowerment is all about. And we do this from a holistic perspective because there are different levels of life. And this is more and more scientifically proven even when it comes to the spiritual things or as we've come to call it uh, scientifically, the subtle level of things. As we've come to understand that everything is energy, there are simply different levels of energy. And these terms, mind, body, spirit, soul are largely references to different levels of energy. And so we can actually scientifically understand and even measure some of these energies and at least see the effects, if nothing else, and therefore determine what's actually true, what's really going on, how things really work, and learn to use all of these levels in conjunction to be powerful on all levels to create the life that you want. So that's what the science of quantum empowerment and our holistic university is all about. This is how we teach and then how we coach. We teach you the principles. We clarify what's true and what's not, sorting fact from fiction, and upgrade your knowledge to the latest scientific information, which we do our best to keep up with, and which traditional education has been scientifically proven to lag decades behind, if not centuries as a lot of ancient knowledge has also been lost and is recently being recovered um, in the scientific arena. Though a lot of this knowledge is is proving the knowledge that has been taught in the spiritual arenas for thousands of years. And we use these latest pieces of information to give you the most up-to-date and accurate... Sorry, my phone alarm was going off, my schedule was being drawn to my attention. So we use the information that is most accurate, most up-to-date, most powerful to upgrade your understanding of yourself and the world and how all of it works in every major area of life, both personal and professional. 
private life and public life. And societal life, social life, of course, is, is interrelated here. It's, it's psychology, it's sociology, it's neurology, biology. All of these have come together to give us the facts that we need to learn to live more powerful, successful, and peaceful, and happy lives. And that's what we teach at the Quantum Empowerment University and through the Quantum Empowerment Training and Coaching Program. I hope that gives you a better idea of things. And since this is a bit shorter presentation, I hope that this will give you the quick and easy understanding you need. But if you want to go further, we have other presentations that we have recorded, both in audio and video format, some of which are out there publicly, some of which are not yet, but you can get access to them by request. And we will sort through our pile and collection of these things that we're still finishing up editing and putting out there and creating our, our curriculum around to give you the understanding that you seek. We have a lot of information that we're organizing to create these classes and coaching compartments. And your interest and financial support, both considering that we are a not-for-profit, volunteer, largely volunteer organization, will help us in this process and let us know where your priorities are, what you're most interested in, in working on and changing about your life, what areas you're, you want to learn to be more powerful in. And that will help us prioritize our curriculum creation as we move forward over the next decade. So we want to hear back from you. Please give us feedback on our Facebook pages, on our, our YouTube channel, and through our contact form on our website. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see added on, what you'd like to see more of, what areas you'd like to go deeper into. And you're welcome to sign up for our classes and learn to clarify the specific areas of your life. Everything starts, of course, with the scientific foundation, the science of quantum empowerment, teaching you the energetic sciences of how all of this works and the principles involved. We share both, of course, the scientific and spiritual perspectives because our modern science still has not completely caught up with the understandings of the spiritual traditions of the world on how things work. And so it's always very holistic. It's all levels, the physical, the mental, emotional, and the spiritual, and how all of these work together, which is, of course, to some extent beyond science and always will be because science only deals with the material level of reality right now and there's only so far that our technologies can go, whereas the inquiring mind and spirit are always able to reach levels that the linear scientific mind cannot, and linear mind cannot even fully understand because it's not linear. Abstract and creative, which is right brain, not left brain. And we're also learning about the heart brain, which most people don't even know about, and how all of that information ties everything together and is at the heart of the science of real empowerment and learning to quantum program and learning about quantum interaction and how our superhuman abilities work scientifically. A lot of which we have actually come to measure and understand scientifically. So this is our holistic education. I look forward to working with you and helping you create the kind of life that you want, and I wish you a wonderful rest of the week.